there. This is Lucas Huffman. I am in uh, Paia, Maui right now. Just got out of the water surfing. The whole Snowcraft crew was at Mount Baker. We were just trolling the parking lot to look for riders who wanted to ride a powder jet with us. Turn around and I see you. You, you said, hey, come with us. <laughs> Come with us, boy. I was like, all right, let's go. Spontaneously, he showed up, and uh, it turned out that he was the perfect guy to run into. I mean, he was so excited and also knowledgeable about all the train and, and where to be when, you know, the, the mountains flooded with a bazillion people. My first introduction to that uh, powder jet board was, was up there on the, the bottom of Mount Hermon, and uh, just did some really fun uh, laps on there and got a little adjusted and, uh, Kind of finally visualized, like made sense of that board a little bit. So you know the mountain got tracked out and uh, the weather went sideways. And uh, up at Stevens Pass is, is uh, just far enough east that it kind of refrigerates the. Uh, there's a couple of refrigerator zones, like, and it just preserves the snow. So we all tooled over there with him. And uh, yeah, we showed up to Stevens Pass probably like a week after it had snowed. And um, we head up the lift there and we hiked the cross country. We actually had ambition to go up a little further on the ridge. And it was a real foggy day that day. So we decided just to go check out some lower stuff and, and uh, went to a real classic side country spot. I always get stoked on uh, showing people that haven't really been around Stevens much because the stoke level is like way amplified you know so he would just be like dropping into all these little spines i was gripped i was like freaked out the whole time we were there and uh you know alan just kind of like misto hikes us down to all these spines you know you're looking over them right there and there happened to be one that was set up so that mark could just be set up right on top of the spine it's almost kind of like a piece of me kind of like i uh, grew up up in that when i was a kid and it's so cool to go back there he's on his powder jet he just dropped in and, and sent it down there I woke up early one day and got your text and saw that cover and I recognized the board and I'm like, wait a minute, that's me about to drop in and sit there. <laughs> the big stoke in my life, you know? It's the second cover ever that does not have snowboarding on it for Transworld. I know the whole Snowcraft crew is really proud to be a part of that. I just wondered what that was like for him to stand on top of the line with that board and be like, yeah, I'm going to put it right into that pocket. To me, especially standing on top of there, dropping in, it just kind of pretty much sums up the love of Stevens Pass. And, and I definitely felt the spirit of uh, you know, Jim Jack and, and Chris Rudolph. Definitely felt like those guys were with us that day. On this place. When they get back